hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine third person shooter series so in this episode what i'm going to work on is this so these npc characters i'm going to implement a way to identify the friendly friendly characters and the enemy characters so in the way i have defined this player character and this npc characters are enemies so but for this npc character the other npc character is a friendly so i'm going to show you a way how to distinguish them for this npc character so if i go here this guy starts aiming at me that's because he identify me as an enemy but before i go there if i play the game from here you can see this other npc guy is already within the vision radius sight radius of this npc character but he is not aiming at him because he is a friendly to him so but he can identify me as an enemy so that's what i am going to show you today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, so at the moment, uh, for the these NPC characters and also the player character has the same skin. So therefore, to make them a little bit different, I'll I'll go to player character and let's change the texture a little bit this is the texture yeah this one mm -hmm. what can I do yeah first I'll duplicate this one and then maybe in this hue value what if I change it to 1 oh, seems like nothing is changed ah it is changing slightly no what about saturation okay what else I can change oh that's not good mm -hmm. no uh, let's take this texture to photoshop and do some changes let me export this as a TGA right here and let me open photoshop right this is the texture let me open right uh, and let's go to adjustment use saturation I want it to give some kind of a red because they are enemies is this color good I 
think this is good. Okay, let's save this and re import that into the project. Right now, not for the player, I uh, for the player I'll keep the same skin, but uh, for the enemy character, for the NPC character, I'll change the texture. Instead of soldier body, I'll put soldier body one for the NPC. Wait, why is it white? Oh, soldier body diffuse one. Okay, that's the material I should use. Soldier body. Okay, now let's save. Right now, these are enemy characters, and my character is uh, in the previous color which means this color all right so now the problem i want to do uh, address is this um, so if i place this character here and play the game you can see this guy is aiming towards it shouldn't aim toward me yeah if i start the game from this side now you can see this guy is aiming that's because this guy can see the other npc character but he shouldn't move at that uh, he shouldn't aim at that character because uh, he's not an enemy guy uh, for him this is an ally so we need to define a way to distinguish uh, enemies and allies so for that i'm gonna yeah let me open soldier and here we have this BPI character interface so inside the CH soldier I'll add a variable I'll call it team team ID let's call it and I'll change the variable type to integer so the default value would be zero and then in the bpi character interface i'll add another function is enemy and i'll add A boolean output yes or no okay now I'll compile this and then inside this ch soldier I should have that function no not yet I need to compile right is enemy 
so in order to detect if it is an enemy or not first we need to get, know the team id of the requesting character so therefore i need to add another input here in the type of integer let's call it my no team id right now we have the team id if this one equals to the team id of this character then it is uh, a friendly not an enemy so oh, i if since the function name is is enemy i should check if these two is not equal if these are not equals they are enemies that means it should return true otherwise return false okay now let's go to the ai soldier and then so here when we receive this on target perception updated function For before I call this aim down function I should check if this guy is an enemy or not for this character so yeah let's call is enemy on that character uh, but then again I don't need this part now but then again I need to know this character's team ID as well but to know that um, I need another interface method get get team id output should be integer team id now in the ch soldier i'll implement it to return his team id this character's team id all right now here we need to get control for of this AI and mm, wait maybe maybe we can do it in a proper way uh, since I have to frequently use this get controlled pawn I think uh, I use this method once promote this to variable BP for now we can use it instead of this one for now I'll use this one here and get team ID now let's add a branch and only if they are enemies they will start aiming at that character let's see if this is working or not okay now as you can see 
this guy is this guy is not aiming at that character even if the vision uh, this guy's sight radius this guy is inside the sight radius of this guy so that means they have distinguished the enemies analyze so what if we need to do something else in order to identify the player as an enemy so for the team id of the player i'll give minus one instead of zero now this character should be able to identify player as an enemy so if i go inside here wait it's not working i'm not recognized as an enemy why is that let me check why is it capital here no. all right here is the problem this is always false instead of it should be yeah i need to break this and it should be true if this successfully sensed is true i deleted this accidentally when i delete the print before now it should work let's see okay now we are this guy is seeing the other guy but he's not aiming if i go here now he is aiming at me right okay so i can say it is working all right mm, and i'll stop this episode at this point so i'll make the source code available through my patreon page if you are a patron you can freely download it and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thank you very much for watching see you in the next episode goodbye